In 2013, the Family Guidance Center had to put patients seeking treatment for drug abuse on a waiting list. Surveys listed drug abuse as a top priority for the community. Is St. Joseph on the front line in the war against drugs? Depending on the definition, Buchanan County Prosecutor Dwight Scroggins believes local law enforcement is winning the war on drugs. If by winning the definition is, are we making progress? Absolutely have no doubt about that. Uh, you still have drug usage, uh, but you have drug usage everywhere. Over a three-year period, the prosecutor's office filed an average of 316 felony charges and 104 misdemeanors per year. Mr. Scroggins believes these numbers aren't that high compared to the drug use in the 70s. He said there's nothing victimless about drug addicts who use criminal activities like residential burglaries to sustain their habits. They aren't stealing because they need a pair of jeans to wear. They're stealing because they, they uh, steal $500 worth of stuff and they take it and they trade that for a hundred bucks worth of dope. Mr. Scroggins described a multi-pronged approach of law enforcement, treatment, and prevention to stopping drug abuse. Captain Mike Donaldson, commander of the Buchanan County Drug Strike Force, tries to stop the supply of drugs. You know, there's not necessarily a cycle to the drugs. They're always present. I think the misperception is that people will become involved with a particular type of drug, either selling it or using it, and that's all they do. You know, the truth is most people are uh, poly drug users. Christina Hannon, vice president for the Family Guidance Center, said poly substance abuse is common. She said typically a person will start drinking at an early age, move on to marijuana if it's available in the home, and on to other drugs like meth or prescription pills. I think that drugs are very are fairly easily obtained on the streets in St. Joe, at St. Joe especially. In our rural areas, it becomes a little bit more difficult, but in St. Joseph, yes, drugs are pretty easily obtained. Hayden reminds everyone that drug abuse isn't a moral fault, that it's a sickness, and people suffering from it need encouragement. In the newsroom, I'm Dave Hahn with the St. Joseph News Press and Fox 26.